Hello everyone. Um, I drove a few miles down the road the other day to um, pick up a little bundle of Beatles records. Um, some of them are more interesting than others, but I'm going to show you a couple of the ones that I think are pretty cool. Um, two secs and I'll set up my camera. Okay, so I'm just going to race through a couple here um, because I've there's a couple that I've already shown you different um, versions of and actually slightly nicer. But here's a good one. Um, it's a UK mono first press of With The Beatles. Um, I've shown you this. I've shown you my own copy of this in, I think, probably collection number two video. Um, seen a bit of wear. Seen a bit of wear, but it plays quite nicely. And the sleeve's pretty decent. The hinge is okay, which is always a big one on these. Um, spine's a little bit, a little bit shot. Um, but it's basically a decent copy. Um, this is a UK mono press of, first press of Sergeant Pepper. Uh, I'm not going to dwell on this one because it's not actually in particularly special condition. Um, and it hasn't got the cardboard in it. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit of a much of a muchness. And this one's okay as well, but uh, uh, someone's been set loose with a felt tip. Um, that's, once again, a UK mono first press. Once again, I'm not going to dwell on that one because it's only... I mean, it is cool, but I'm not going to go on about it um, because I feel like I've shown you my own copy already. Um, and there's that. Uh, that's pretty nice as well. Um, I haven't played this one yet. That's a decent copy. I'm going to flog all them anyway. Um, now, this one is cool. Look at that. Imported by EMI Records. I think this is original from 1967. It's slightly shabby, but it's not too bad. The booklet is in really lovely condition, except it's slightly loose on the staples. So I've got to treat it very, very carefully. But as you can see, it's all present and correct. I can't find this on Discogs, which is very exciting. I love it when that happens. There's been a few. Um, this is a mono copy. As you can tell by the catalog number there. And again, like the Beatles for Sale I just showed you, it's not perfect. But it definitely ain't bad either. Sounds pretty decent. Um, so I've just chucked that on eBay. Um, hopefully I'll make a couple of quid on that. Because it is a definite rarity. Um, really. You're in it for that little sticker there. As much as anything else. What a cool item. Mono US Import. From 1967 I believe. And here's the last one that I'm going to show you today, because I don't actually have a whole lot of uh, room on my phone for whatever reason, uh, which is why I'm galloping through this a little bit. Look at this one. Ever seen anything like that? Here is my copy that I have shown you previously. And here is the copy I got on Wednesday. Spot the difference. It's all misprinted. Um, so it's all completely out of line, the printing on the uh, front of the sleeve. You can see there, look. And of course with the with the square frames around the guys there. Um, that's the back of the sleeve. The back of the sleeve just looks like any other sleeve. Again, it's not in amazing condition, but look at the spine. The spine's nice. Lovely. And, brilliantly, this afternoon, 
I realised that I had a spare Emitex inner, which I'd probably go on about quite a lot. I've only just found it. Here is the record. It's in line with Beatles for Sale and Magical Mystery Tour that I've shown you, really. It's had a bit of use. But I've play tested it and it sounds pretty decent. You can see there's a quite a mark there. But it sounds pretty decent. There's certainly no skips or jumps. So what a cool item. I mean, the record in itself, I wouldn't say is dreadfully rare. But that sleeve, I think that could be the only one in existence. Uh, it, again, it's sure as hell not on Discogs. Anyway, there's those ones. Uh, I need to free up some space on my phone before I post any more videos. Um, but next week I'm hoping to show you an unboxing of a nice copy of Rubber Song, uh, a UK mono pressing. Um, so if you like the sound of that and if you've enjoyed this video, then please um, like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Keep rocking. Thanks. Bye.